Knowledge is knowing that tomatoes are fruit. Wisdom is knowing that it's not going on my fruit salad. Do you see the difference? So we gotta use it. We gotta put it to good use. And I think that there are some things that we look at in the life of Solomon at the beginning of the story that if we'll catch the principle and we'll use it for the remaining of our story, we will finish strong. Do you wanna look at some of those principles? I'm gonna actually just give these, these three things to you. I, I, these are not my points, but I simplified them because some of y'all are gonna forget what I said today. Here's the three things. Fear God, desire God, ask God. Fear God, desire God, and ask God. Fear God, desire God and ask God. Verse three, it says that he loves God. There's this, there's this affection towards God. There's this acknowledgement of God in his life. And I think this is where it starts. And as a matter of fact, Solomon would write about this. How many of you know that the book of Proverbs, for the most part, was written by Solomon? So here's this guy that's pontificating and writing all this wisdom. He wrote over 3,000 Proverbs and over 1,000 songs. When's the last time you and I did that? I mean, this guy just had wisdom oozing out of him. In chapter 10, Queen Sheba rolls up because she's like, oh, I hear about this guy named Solomon. Let's find out. And she's like, yo, it's like twice as good as I thought. So this dude's oozing out wisdom, but is he actually living it? I don't know. But in Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10, he says, fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So if we're going to have forever wisdom, which is the title of the message, if we're going to have forever wisdom, we always remember wisdom's starting point. This is the starting point. You know why? We acknowledge and we are aware of that which we fear. Let me unpack this. When we stop fearing God, we stop acknowledging and being aware of his presence. How can I illustrate this? A few weeks ago, I got up early and I'm like, man, I'm gonna get coffee. I'm gonna run some quick errands. I'm gonna go to the grocery store and come back with breakfast. And I'm cruising down center, heading west, past that new car wash place on the right, and I'm cruising, and I'm just kind of jamming, worshiping. I gotta pass this guy, and so I gotta speed up to pass him, because then I gotta get off the exit to get to my house at 204. So I'm kind of cruising by, and whoa, I see the sheriff. <laughs> if you're listening in the lobby, I'm sorry. But what did I do when I saw the sheriff? I hit that brake. My body, every single time I see a police officer, it has a response. Why is that? There's some fear, man, some healthy fear. I ain't trying to have them get into my wallet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so there's a response. I think there would be a problem if I was like cruising, speeding, and just like waved at them. <laughs> Let's just be honest. If you have recently been the person that's on the side of the road with the sirens woo, 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 behind you, when you walk away from that moment, you're like, I didn't see him. <laughs> do, you see, do you see my point here? I think that's just what happens in life. It's like there's, there's this affection and there's this love and there's this healthy fear. And when we talk about fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, I'm talking about reverence and awe. I'm not talking about ogre in the sky like, oh, I gotta perform for you and if I mess up, you're just gonna hit me over the head. I'm not talking about that kind of fear. I'm talking about the kind of fear that, 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 that a child has with their father, that just healthy, that healthy reverence, that healthy awe. We're talking about awestruck. We're, just, we're in awe that you would send your son to die for us on a cross and redeem us and restore us. And it just, it keeps me in this place of humility. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. There's just this, there's this posture that we maintain. And we should be worried when that starts to go away. When we start just not even seeing the sheriff on the side of the road. The fear helps us acknowledge his presence. Keeps us aware of his presence. Maybe that's where you're at today. Like you're, you're in a season where you're desiring wisdom. And the Lord is, 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 is speaking right now to you that you've got to get back to this healthy place of humility and reverence. And, and, and this happens by getting in your word. Because the more I get in the word, the more I realize how small I really am. And I go to read the word and read about God's love and his character and the word starts reading me. How many of you know we need heart surgery every single day? This is how we keep our heart with all diligence. Is anybody with me? We got to return back to the starting point of wisdom, of wisdom.